Studio B with Greg Anthony. This Warriors franchise, the 12th time the franchise has made it to the finals, only trailing the Lakers and the Celtics all time. And, I mean, when the books are finally written, you, you can't write it without the Golden State Warriors and what they've done, especially in the past eight seasons. Yeah, this is the modern-day version of what a dynasty looks like, right? You know, the, the, they don't overwhelm you physically. Uh, but they just play the game. The, the artistry of the game is on full display with how this Warriors team operates. Uh, to see them get back to the mountaintop with an opportunity to add to an already illustrious career is pretty special. And I know it's not lost on many in the Bay Area and the Warrior fans all over the country. So to have the run they've been on and then go up against arguably the most story franchise in league history, the Boston Celtics. I don't know that you could write a better storyline than what we have upcoming. Look at Steph Curry. Obviously, we know that he is special. He has, what, 47 career playoff games, scoring 30 or more, 128 games hitting at least one three in the playoffs. He's clearly special, arguably the greatest shooter. Not arguably the greatest shooter. I'm just going to go ahead and say it. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, what, what makes him so special, especially on stages like this? Well, what's unique about him is that the thing that we identify most with him his shooting ability is probably not his greatest strength. His greatest ability is the ability to play without the basketball and how he's out there playing chess while everybody else is playing checkers. Even on this play, all that misdirection action on the weak side is just to shift the defense to create that backdoor cut right there where there's no weak side help. And he just does a great job of just understanding the flow of a play. And you see how he relocates here. And then Draymond just comes over and look, there's nobody up to help on the greatest shooter ever. And he just steps right into that triple. And again, here, forces the defense to adjust. And now they're in rotation. And then this is that location ability that is so difficult to guard for anybody. Again, Draymond just with a rub screen there to free him up for that triple on that weak side. And again, it's just a lot of the same scenario in terms of his ability to pick the picker there, come off, catch and shoot. And all that stuff is phenomenal. But the ability for him to ultimately be the shot maker that he is, that's what really strikes fear into opposing teams. I mean, even though he doesn't look it, he is a really intimidating player to go up against because of how lethal he is and not just shooting the basketball, but playing without it. Speaking of intimidated players, we talk about the other splash brother, Clay Thompson, who appears to have his swagger back. You can see him looking good, feeling good outside of the huddle, but then when he's on the floor, his play is really contributing to, to having so much success. Yeah, and, and, you know, credit the team as well with their patience because it's been a bumpy road. You know, it hasn't always been as fluid as he or they would like, but they continue to maintain confidence and belief and boy, has he been rewarding him with some of the big clutch games. You think about the closeout games they've had this postseason thus far. You, you could argue he's been the best player in those games. And, and that's vital for them. And he also understands playing with the likes of Steph and Draymond. The opportunities are going to be abundant for him. He's going to have a chance to put his stamp on this series. It's just a matter of whether or not he's going to be in the right kind of rhythm. And then also from a defensive standpoint, is he going to be able to hold up on that end? Because he's going to be challenged, there's no doubt about it, by the Celtics. Well, you can mention Steph and you can mention Clay, but you can't mention those two without mentioning Dre. Draymond Green, we know how special he is. You know, the stats say one thing, but they can't really quantify the importance that he has to this Golden State team. Yeah, in some respects, he's... He's like a modern-day Bill Russell, right? Because his impact on the game really has never been about his ability to score. It's his leadership, the intangibles he brings there, his defensive intensity, and then his IQ. I mean, those things just are in an abundance when you talk about Draymond Green, and that's why you can't always look at stats. Because if you just went and looked at Draymond Green's stats, you would not think that he's an impactful player. Right. But when you watch the game and you see all the things that he does for oftentimes, which there is no stat and the appreciation that his team has for him. And the bottom line is they just win and he plays an integral part in all of their success on both sides of the ball.